Welcome everybody to another episode of We Inspired. As you can see, we've gone all out this evening. It ain't really all out. We've got a lot of friends and family coming tomorrow. So I thought I'd start. It's coming up to 12 midnight. I thought I'd start um, tonight. Get it all prepared, marinated, left in the fridge. Um, so by tomorrow afternoon, it's all ready to be whacked onto the uh, barbecue. I'm going to make a nice, lovely, um, sort of jalfrezi dish with the um, sort of... This is the thigh, chicken thigh, nice and soft and succulent, like Mr. Latif always says. Here are some of the herbs and spices. I'm gonna use very minimal herbs and spices like pepper um, and salt and um, paprika on the chops. But it's gonna be quite simple, straightforward. So keep watching um, and hope you enjoy this. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to We Inspired. <laughs> First of all, we've got a lot of um, lamb ribs here. These are excellent. All I'm gonna be doing is putting some pepper, corn, and some Himalayan salt. I can use a grinder because there's a lot. I'm just gonna be using this pestle and mortar. So as you can imagine, there's a lot going on here. This is gonna be simple. All I'm gonna do is just add some olive oil to this. Be generous with the olive oil. And this is the salt and the pepper, um, which I grinded in the pestle and mortar. So you can either do a bit of this or you can do a bit of this. The lamb ribs done, now I'm on to the lamb chops. Here we are, we've got the uh, lamb chops. Again, a bit of olive oil. Now, put salt and pepper again. And in this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some oregano. Oops. Bit too much. It's not bad anyway, that's fine. And here we are, this is also done. So here we are, we've got the chicken wings. Um, these are really big fat chicken wings here, so these are gonna be nice and succulent. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some olive oil again. I'm gonna put, this is my own, well it's not my own mix. This is a mix that I buy, um, it's like a peri-peri mix I buy in the stores. It can, it's not too spicy, but for children, it can, some children might find it a little bit spicy. I've got a lot of children coming in tomorrow, so I'm not gonna use too much of this. I'll put the, um, the link, or I'll put, the, put it in the description box, so that way, if you guys wanna try it out, it comes in like four different versions, uh, lemon and herb, hot, spicy, uh, mild etc. This is just paprika Tomato puree Like I said, I don't want it too spicy because there's gonna be a lot of children coming. This is about three kilos of chicken wings So I'm gonna put a lot of lemon in this Whoops So it's gonna be like lemon and herb, but with a hint of spice, not too spicy. So now we've done the lamb chops, we've done the lamb ribs, we've done the chicken wings. Um, now I'm on to the uh, minced meat. So we're gonna make basic cheeseburgers with these. Just um, sort of put salt and pepper, that's it. Nothing else. And then afterwards you can put whatever sauce you like. Um, we will then move on to 
um, the biryani <laughs> as well as um, the chicken jalfrezi but I'm not going to show you this I'll tell you where to um, get the recipe um, uh, in, a, in, a, in a short while so here we are so here we are um, just put salt and pepper in this got this here now it, you don't want to make it too thick so here we go Get the perfect shape. One. So now we'll have the perfect round cheeseburger. Alas. So here we are. Just got some, uh, just a tray with some baking paper. Just to put the burgers on here. Burger is really, it's got a lot of fat in it, that's why it's really sort of soft. Um, probably put about six in each one. Here we are, the burgers are done. The chicken thighs marinated, chicken wings are marinated, lamb chops, lamb ribs, and here we are. This pan's so big, I had to use two hobs. It's a wicked day this morning. I'm out in the garden. This is how I'm going to set up the barbecue after last night's uh, hard, all the hard effort. Got the family around. Just a tip, guys. So whenever you're setting up the barbecue, I'm sure most of you already know. Just put some foil just to line up the bottom plate, so that way um, it saves you from all the cleaning at the end of the evening. So that's a tip for you guys. And here we are. We're going to begin the barbecue. These they're looking succulent already. This out. Whoa! Look at that. Barbecue's done. Got some potatoes here to make some lovely alu borta later on this evening. <laughs> 